Hello, I would like to introduce to you the new Zartic Radio ZA758. It's a professional two-way radio operating on the license free bands. Here's the radio. Heavy duty radio with a belt clip and wrist strap. The antenna, a short stubby rubber antenna, gets connected to the top of the radio and it comes with a battery and mains charger. The battery has a side socket for charging. The light on the charger will go green when on and when plugged in will change to red. Charging time is about six hours after which the light will go green showing that it's full. To connect the radio to the battery, slide it on the back and adjust the latch if needed. To remove the battery, slide the latch and pull off. To turn the radio on, One. use the right vol volume knob and to change the channel, Three. select the left knob until channel 16. 10, 15, 1. The PTT button is located on the side and there are two functional side keys. The external speaker microphone jack is located on the other side with the cover. To speak to other radios, set the same channel, for instance, on the ZA705, the channels are factory set to match exactly. Testing one two. Testing one two. To link the ZA758 to a radio with a screen, locate the channel programming on the back of the box. For instance, channel 4 corresponds to frequency 4, subtone 10. Use the menu button and the up and down arrows to select the correct channel. and then the radios can communicate. The two side keys on the 758 are set. The top key is your monitor button which will monitor the open frequency to accept any calls on that frequency. Four. If the top button is held in it will send a call tone to another radio. The bottom button is voice activation. Press it once, will activate voice activation, which is your hands free mode. Press it again, then it deactivates Vox. Vox is very useful with a headset. This is the optional GE252 earphone with inline microphone. Insert the headset into the side of the radio and either press the PTT on the microphone or set your voice activation on the radio. Testing, testing, one, two, three. The range on the ZA758 will depend on the terrain as is indicated on the side of the packaging. Range is terrain dependent. Indoors 600 meters to 1.2 kilometers. That's because of the obstructions of buildings and trees. Outdoors flat 
two to six kilometers two kilometers if there's trees and obstructions in the way six kilometers if it's open and range improves with better line of sight elevated line of sight range will go from 10 to 30 kilometers in ideal conditions on a tall mountain The operating time per charge on the radio is very long, about 30 hours on normal use and charge time is about 6 hours. There are various optional accessories available for the radio, different headsets, spare batteries, chargers, pouches, programming cables and external antenna for vehicles and building. The programming cable is used for different options such as uh, setting different voice activation levels, there's nine sensitivity levels and different delays. Also other functions such as scanning, priority scan, the battery level indicator of how much charge is left, an emergency alarm siren and descramble function to get more privacy or the compander function to reduce noise is can be set via programming. The, the programming is also useful for setting other channels on the radio. For instance, if you're already using a channel that is not one of the 16 factory settings, the programming cable is used to select your own channels. Overall, the ZA758 is a heavy duty radio ideal for everyday use in rough environments, giving you very clear communication with long battery life. This is the GE277, which is the range extender for the ZA758 radio. It's a magnetic mount car kit with an antenna, car charger, and speaker microphone. This is the pack. The external antenna comes with a magnetic base, 3 meters of cable, a rubber antenna that gets connected to the base. The magnet has a felt pad that can be fitted onto a vehicle. The wire should be fed through the door and the door can be closed on the wire. Remove the antenna from the radio and insert the cable instead. This improves range Instead of range being about one kilometer between vehicles, range will improve to about two to six kilometers depending on the terrain. As the signal is not obstructed by the vehicle, but sent from outside the vehicle. The vehicle charger plugs into the cigarette lighter socket and plugs into the side of the battery. The external speaker microphone is plugged into the side of the radio for easy communication. Testing, one, two, one, two. So the radio can sit anywhere in the vehicle and all operations can be done using the speaker microphone.